So one of the women at our last workshop posted something on Facebook about her masturbation practice that I thought was very illuminating and affects how we feel about ourselves and what we bring to partner sex. Now she was having a lot of uh, tension orgasms laying on her stomach, crossing her legs, and she would have those orgasms right before partner sex because then she could have a really deeply satisfying... Priming, priming the pump. We talk about that. Yeah. And it can be very positive, but she said that was the limit of her masturbation practice. That's the only way. Oh, oh, oh. Negative. <laughs> she would masturbate. <laughs> now, I think that it's very important that we can give ourselves long, extended, full body orgasms all by ourselves. Otherwise, you bring you bring too much to bear on partner sex. It's, too much need. We've yeah. all been with that insecurity yeah. and yeah. that need, yeah. and it's just, a, it kills the orgasm. It kills the fun. Now, I know that when I was having partner sex, that one of the best things for me to do would be to have a, a, a full mm -hmm. orgasm before I had sex, which meant I was going to have another fuller orgasm. So There's no limit. Well, if, if women could just understand that we are bottomless pits of pleasure, we keep gearing ourselves to the male model, which is so fast, their ejaculation isn't getting down into anything. It's simply, I made the comment, it's like blowing your nose to get rid of excess semen. Uh, it's not. Mucus. <laughs> Well, I think that's what we do in the workshops. During erotic recess, the whole point of it is that we're showing them different techniques on how to masturbate because there's no one way, yeah. right? So you want to yeah. vary it. Yeah. You don't want to get stuck in the routine like we don't in any aspect and of then, your life. And then we go on and on and on. And it's the first time women have had that experience. We are, you know, when I'm... I mean, I have, of course, I have quickies. We all, nothing, well, yeah, sometimes you need to. I'm a mom. Nothing, I have quickies all the time. Nothing wrong with it. But on a regular basis, I have a full body orgasm with, well, with myself now. I'm not having partner sex. So that is it. That's your sex life. And it's like, it is so fulfilling. I am so happy afterwards. And my fantasy life is extraordinary. It's the creative process. That's what she was saying. She said that for the first time, she decided to go for like 50 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes. And she found herself, and varying her technique, she had the same deeply satisfying orgasms alone that she has with her partner. And we can't really be good lovers for somebody else unless we're the best lovers for ourselves. I love that. I don't, why is No, no, that? say it again. <laughs> I love what did I say? We can't be good <laughs> lovers unless we're the best lovers for ourselves. Oh, I love that. I just that, said no, that. No, that you... <laughs> That's a great line. It's true. All right. We oh. think of them as mutually exclusive. You masturbate or you have partner sex. Or that you masturbate because you can't have partner sex. Or you masturbate so that your orgasm is ready for partner sex, which is how she was... Forget partner sex. If, if it's available, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. The primary love affair is with ourselves. Well, she found herself feeling happy, confident, and secure, and I think that yeah. masturbation is the foundation of yeah. our self-esteem. Yes. How we connect to our bodies, to our minds, to our souls. It's the foundation for everything that has to do with sex. Could we just please accept that? <laughs> masturbation is the foundation for all sexual activity, and we don't honor it. It's like a secondary thing. It's like a. It's it's like a instead of. I know. And it, yeah. It's all, it's everything, but it's it's the first step. It's the foundation. Oh. It's the basis. It's I can't imagine not masturbating and then bringing that to my husband. Well, there you have it. It's like if we would just... All that need and desire and it, um, nah, get out of lack of arousal. <laughs> <laughs> so just enjoy yourself. Really allow yourself to go all the way in. And let everything you have bring everything to bear on your love affair with yourself. This will make such a big difference in your life. In your life and in everyone's life that is relating to you, especially your primary partner. Oh, they'll appreciate it. Now, I think this is a good moment. If you're capable or able, just go and do it. Or join us for a workshop. We have our <laughs> fall dates. <laughs> September 24th and 25th. October 15th and 16th, and November 12th and 13th. So I'm going to put an email in here. Send me an email if you'd like to take a group 
to have this kind of expansive experience. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want you to know that as many years as I have done this, I'm looking forward to it. It's all, no, they're always amazing. The women are amazing. We love oh, doing the work. I'm going to continue to do the work as long as I can talk. So this, this next workshop, I may sit in a chair. We could just get one of those sex baskets, and I'll just hoist you up. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> so see you next week, kids.